time now for sports news with Ayotunde Balogun. So much, Gimba. Well, Coach Gennett Roa has listed John Mikel Obi, Kelechi Hianacho, Ahmed Musa, and Samuel Chukweze in his 25 man squad to prepare for this year's Africa Cup of Nations in Egypt. Mikel, who captained the Super Eagles at the FIFA World Cup in Russia last summer, has been away from the team since Nigeria's elimination after a 2 1 defeat by the Albi Celeste of Argentina on June the 26th. Coach Roa has largely kept faith with the players that qualified Nigeria for this year's AFCON with Francis Uzor. Leon Balogun, William Ekong, Ogena Karoetebo, Wilfred Ndidi, Odion Igalo, and Alex Iwobi all invited. Now, all the invited players are to report to camp on Sunday, June the 2nd, ahead of the international friendly game with Zimbabwe at the Stephen Keshe Stadium on Saturday, June the 8th. The Nigeria Super Falcons have ended their Wafu Cup group stage campaign with a perfect record of three wins from three games after beating Mali 2-0. Following the tight first half, which ended goalless, Rafiat Sule gave Nigeria the lead in the 67th minute, which in Nakano made it two with a ninth strike of the tournament in injury time to secure all three points for coach Thomas Denaby's side. Meanwhile, the FIFA Women's World Cup trophy has kicked off its nine city tour of host country France following its tour of all 24 countries which will participate in the tournament this year. Now, the most coveted prize in women's football was on display in the primary school in the 20th Administrative District of Paris. The trophy will visit locations including city councils, schools and stadiums on its national tour, which covers all the host cities, heading to Le Havre on May the 15th before proceeding to Reims and Valenciennes. Now, the FIFA Women's World Cup is due to kick off on June the 7th in Paris and will end one month later in Lyon. A Rome native, Matteo Berrettini, has upset 2017 champion Alexander Zverev 7-5, 7-5 to celebrate his first top five victory in front of a rocking Roman crowd. Now, the 23-year-old who won the Hungarian Open last month broke Zverev once in each set, including in the 12th game of the second set to advance to the round of 16 at an ATP Masters 1000 event for the first time. Berrettini, who made his Masters 1000 debut only two years ago, will next face the Argentinian Diego Schwartzman. And 15-time major champion Tiger Woods says he would like to make his Olympic debut at Tokyo 2020 next summer. But Woods, who ended his 11-year wait for a major at last month's Masters, missed golf's return to the program at Rio 2016 after struggling with injury. The 43-year-old admits he may not get many more opportunities to represent his country if he misses the Tokyo Games, and he intends to play well enough to make the United States team. I'm Ayatun De Balogun. That's a wrap in Sports News. Gimba will be back with the rest of the news at 10. And the main news again. The Chairman, Presidential Advisory Committee Against Corruption, Professor Itesage, today challenged the Economic and Financial Crimes Commission to clear legal roadblocks, he says, are hindering its investigation of corrupt practices. Also today, President Muhammad Buhari broke his Ramadan fast with the leadership of the National Assembly. The President challenged the incoming Ninth Assembly to work towards a better working relationship with the Executive. And six protesters and security operatives today died in clashes in Sudan's capital, Khartoum. That's it on the news at 10 tonight. I want to thank you so much indeed for watching. On behalf of all of us here, have a splendid night. Good night.